All right, what's up, everybody? So I just want to do a quick video here updating you on where the Padres stand in terms of the World Baseball Classic, which players are going to be playing in the World Baseball Classic. There is this account on Twitter, Sean Spradling. I recommend you following him uh, if you want some WBC updates, WBC roster updates. I was looking at this last night, and I just wanted to see which Padres are scheduled to be playing on which rosters. Because that does have an effect on spring training. Which guys are we going to see? Maybe fans are trying to go out to spring training. And it's like, oh, I want to see Xander Bogarts. Well, maybe make sure you're picking a date where he's actually going to be there. Instead of playing for Team Netherlands in the WBC. So here are some players. So Nick Martinez, as of now, that is the only Padre on Team USA's roster. This is the lid from uh, the last World Baseball Classic. Uh, still have that. I still wear this hat a lot, actually. Um, Joe Musgrove, Mark DeRosa told me at the winter meetings that he was interested, and I, I assume that he offered Joe Musgrove a spot, but as of now, he has not committed to that. Uh, I assume Blake Snell was offered a spot. Mark DeRosa said that he was interested in Blake Snell, and he said he was interested in Nick Martinez, and Martinez did accept that. Uh, Nelson Cruz, it has not been made official by the Padres. As of me talking right now, Manny, uh, but he's expected to be there. General manager for the Dominican Republic. You got Manny Machado, Juan Soto for Japan. You Darvish, Korea, Hassan Kim, Puerto Rico, Seth Lugo, which was kind of interesting to me. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Netherlands, Xander Bogarts, Colombia, Nabil Chrismat. He's like their best reliever on their roster. And then Julio Tehran, who's a depth guy. Obviously, the big names that we're looking at here, uh, Manny, Soto, Darvish, Kim, Bogarts, right? We want every one of these players to come back healthy, but those are going to be the guys that I think Padre fans are really going to be interested in. And maybe some fans are sitting here and I'm like, I don't care at all about the World Baseball Classic. I care about the San Diego Padres, and so I'd rather have these players not play in this. And I definitely understand that. Uh, but these guys, it is a unique opportunity. Who knows what shape they're going to be in or how good they're going to be the next time around. So this might be like their only chance or their last chance to represent their country in the World Baseball Classic. And so this is something that is important, I think, to these players. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to criticize anyone for doing this. I, I, I'm just hoping that they have a ton of fun and they come back healthy and ready to go for the Padres because we want them healthy and we want them on the team, on the roster, healthy, being on the field so we can have the best chance of winning in the regular season and obviously winning in the postseason when it matters most and hopefully winning the first World Series in franchise history. So that's just the update as of now. Who is playing in the WBC? Maybe some additional players are added. Uh, as the WBC gets closer. But as of now, those are the players. A, a pretty good amount for the Padres. As for Team USA, I was looking at their schedule. March 8th and 9th, they have a couple exhibition games. March 8th against the Giants uh, at, in Scottsdale. March 9th against the Angels uh, in Tempe. Uh, before they start their first round, the pool play, uh, March 11th at Chase Field, home of the Diamondbacks. Uh, they face Great Britain. They face Mexico on the 12th. March 11th is Great Britain. Uh, March 13th, Canada. March 15th, Colombia. Uh, and if they make it to the next round, which they're expected to, then they would be playing in Miami where the Marlins play. Uh, I believe they'd be playing in Miami the rest of the WBC. The semis are there. Uh, the quarters are there, the semis, the finals are there as well.